Today, we're going to talk about five simple tips to get more from Facebook events. And the agenda is this. It's pretty straightforward. First of all, you're going to create an event with your page, not a group or a profile. And we'll talk about why. There are exceptions to the rule, and I'll talk about those. Uh, you're going to update your cover image. You're going to show faces of those who have RSVP'd, and there's a specific reason for that. You're also going to include a link where people can register for tickets, and you will also um, promote the event. It'll be part of your event promotion or your event marketing process, uh, and I'll show you how that's going to work, or I'll talk to that. I'll talk about how that's going to work, okay? So I'll go through this very quickly, and then you can uh, ask questions, and then we can just open it up. All right. So the first thing is to create the event with your page. And the reason why is because with your page, you can then take out a Facebook ad to promote the event. Uh, also, you can more easily promote it to your fans, and there's a lot more exposure on your page because it has its own tab. There's an event tab and so forth. Uh, but here is a Facebook event that's being created by the Ellie Fund. And just a few tips here uh, in creating the event. It's all in one little screenshot. Uh, first of all, in the name, just put the name of the event. Don't make it clever or anything like that. Just describe the event and talk about the event in the name. And then in the details, tell people why they can't miss the event, but keep it brief. Okay, keep it really brief, but make it really compelling so that people are more likely to click on the link and learn more and register. Uh, and you also want to include that people have to register through the link. All right. Just because they RSVP on Facebook doesn't mean that they're necessarily going to be getting all the cool stuff that they will if they register through the registration page. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. All right. So that's about the uh, details. Right. Uh, again, you want to create the event from your page and we see that the Ellie Fund has created it right here where it says where it's at the Ellie Fund. They created it with their page so that automatically happens. Uh, you also want to include a link to register, a link to register. And I say this is a must. The reason why this is a must is because this is a strategy to help build your email list and also tag people in your current database, right? So you want to know of our existing community, who are the people that are registering for events? Who are the people with a heartbeat? Who are the people that are active and responsive and participating in these sort of initiatives, right? In this case, it's an event, right? We want to know in our database who has attended this event. We definitely want to know that. Uh, and the best way to do that is not just have an event, a Facebook event where people are RSVPing on Facebook and then you have to figure out, well, who's RSVPing and it's kind of a mess. You could export the event details, of course, and, and the, the, um, the information from the event, uh, but that's really useless. It's better to have people click on a link to register on a page on your website where they give you your name, email, and so forth, and then they get an email to follow up. Hey, thanks for registering for the event. This is going to be really great. We're glad that you're going to be coming here. Okay. Uh, you want to pick the best category as well. So if you notice when you create an, a Facebook event with your page, you can select several categories. This also allows Facebook users to search through different event types that they might be interested in around their area. Uh, they can also look at top events or most popular events among their network, right? within a specific category. So make sure you pick the category that best describes what the event is. Okay. Uh, the second, the next part here is let people post questions and photos to the event page. The reason why is because people might have questions, right? About the event, you know, can I bring my kids? Uh, do we need to bring our own alcohol? Uh, you know, whatever, questions people might have for the event. And also you want to make a point of using the timeline in the event as almost like a separate Facebook page where you're posting updates about the event behind the scenes, maybe pictures of auction items or information about people that are presenting at the event, you know, insider information. You're going to be publishing that on the event wall and when you do that, the people who have RSVP'd, they get a notification on Facebook that the event has been updated. There's more information about the event. Okay. Uh, the last point here is to target 
the post or target the event when you publish it, target it by location and any other relevant criteria. Okay, so why is that? Because you may be a national organization and you may have events all over the country. So obviously you only want to publish this event to Facebook users that are actually in that physical location where they're most likely to, where they actually have the ability to attend, right? Uh, you might also want to look at relationship status, uh, educational status, interested in, language. But the key, the big one here is really location. You know, you have to be uh, promoting the event and publishing the event to Facebook users who actually have the ability to physically attend the event. And that you can do by selecting location, right? So that's creating the event with the page. Now, if you have a Facebook group and you have a really great community that you've developed and it's a closed group or a semi-private group uh, and you want to have those people get together and it's only for those folks, then yes, um, create an event in the Facebook group and you can create events in Facebook groups. It's pretty simple, a couple of mouse clicks. It's fairly straightforward. But the, um, the limitation with that is that it's only uh, available to people who are members of the group. So only people who are members of the group will be aware of the event. So it really cuts down or limits the viral capacity of an event, of a Facebook event. Whereas if you publish it with your uh, Facebook page, everyone can share it with everyone and you can take out a Facebook ad to push that event out to even more people, okay? That's the first step. Create the event with your page. Next one is use your cover image to promote the event, all right? So I'm talking about the cover image on your event and the cover image on your page. Uh, so here's a great example from Lupus Foundation of America, Greater Ohio Chapter, and they're talking about uh, Have a Heart for Lupus. It's a big, huge Valentine's Day event, and they have the date, uh, they have all the details in the link. So if you click on the cover, a window opens up and there's the link to register for the event or find out more about the event, right? So make sure you create a, co a cover. I've mentioned this a million times, but definitely use Canva to create the cover. Uh, because they have lots of beautiful templates and you can go explore that on your own Canva, C-A-N-V-A dot com. Uh, and you can create awesome looking Facebook covers. The next one here is show RSVPs to leverage social proof. So one of the biggest reasons why people decide on whether they're going to go to an event or not is who else is going to the event, right? I mean, you do this yourself probably. Geez, do I want to go to the event or not? Hmm, well, who else is going? That's usually the first question. So you show the guest list. This is a no-brainer. Show the guest list so that other people can see who else is attending. Uh, now, if you have a question in your mind saying, well, geez, what if we don't get any RSVPs? It's kind of, it's going to look lame if we only have one or two people attending the event. Don't worry, I'm going to get to that, okay? Uh, and again, don't forget the link to register. And I'm going to stress this. This is absolutely important. Okay. And the reason why is because you, as a, one of your goals in your organization, you're, you're looking to grow your email list, right? You can't do that if people just go to a Facebook event, click on RSVP, and then they're off doing something else. But you can, if you're uh, gently encouraging them and prodding them to click on a link to register for the event. So in this case, with the Ellie Fund, they have this uh, registration link. They click on this and they're redirected to this page where they can uh, enter their name and email and all that. And they register for the event. They obviously purchase tickets. OK, so these guys are selling tickets to the event as well. OK, uh, and this is all through TicketBud. This is just a landing page through TicketBud that Ellie Fund is using to promote this specific event. OK, but make sure you do that. Now, the last part, this is the this is the uh, the thing that ties everything together. <clears throat> is you're going to use email marketing to promote the event, but you're not going to send out an email um, to everyone on your email list about the Facebook event. You're going to promote your event like you normally would. You're going to promote your event using your event registration landing page. Okay. You're going to send people here initially. This is really what you're going to be promoting. Okay. Is your event registration landing page. Forget about Facebook for now. Okay. Uh, then, when people sign up and they register and they're all set to go, 
they're going to automatically receive an, a follow-up email saying, hey, thanks so much for registering. Here's what else you can do. RSVP to this event on Facebook so you can see who else is attending and you can get behind the scenes information about this event. Plus, if you RSVP to this Facebook event by X date, you'll be entered to win this really cool thing. OK, so make an incentive and create a couple of different emails that go out to people who have already registered. Right. They've already registered. They get an email. And what this does is this leverages word of mouth marketing, because when people go, they register for the event through the landing page. Right. Then they get an email that drives them to the Facebook event. What are they going to do? They're going to RSVP to the Facebook event because you told them. All this cool stuff is going to be part of that. If they register, if they RSVP on Facebook, they're going to be entered to win this cool thing. They'll see who else is attending and they'll get behind the scenes uh, latest update information about the event. Right. So there's a big incentive for people to just click one or two mouse clicks to RSVP to the event. And what you get in return is you automatically are leveraging Facebook's word of mouth. Right. So every time someone RSVPs to a Facebook event, their friends see that. And that's exactly what you want with a Facebook event. When people tell their friends about it, they are driven back to the Facebook event where they see all this really cool information about the event and they are encouraged to click on a link to register. You know, click on a link to register, click on a link to register. And you can use the timeline in the uh, event to remind people, you know, if you haven't registered, make sure you're clicking on the link. Just because you've RSVP'd here doesn't mean that you're automatically registered to, to, to be entered. Please make sure you're registering through the link, the ticket link. And you can even cl include the link also in the description, right? So make it really clear that in order to register for this event, to be included and to actually attend the event, RSVPing on Facebook is not enough. That's not really what the point is. We need them to click on a link and go to the registration page. And then, of course, they go through that whole process. They register for the event. They then get a follow up email, one, two, three follow up emails. One or two of them is encouraging them to RSVP to the event. When they do that, automatically their Facebook friends find out about this event. OK, so now I'm going to open up for questions. That's just a quick and dirty of these five uh, steps or five tips to get the most out of these Facebook events.